You've got just 10 minutes left. Barrister James hopes his classic dishes will be enough to take him through to the quarter-final. James, you have some beautiful ingredients on your bench. What are you going to cook for us? I'm doing a pan-fried fillet of brill. The dessert, I'm doing rhubarb crumble. You are a man who obviously loves food. You handle a knife like a near professional. I don't get how a young man like you can go to college, become a barrister, do something you really love, and then go, you know what, actually... It was always a plan. I, I spoke to my father at length and said, look, I really want to be a chef. And he said, yeah, but you've got all this academic talent. You can't just go and be a chef. If, if you then find out you want to be a barrister, there's no way of going back. Whereas if you do it this way around, if you still want to be a chef at the end of it, fair play. I think that was sound advice from your father. Yeah, yeah very sound advice. James is doing a very, very complex dish. I just hope he's not going to do what he did yesterday and he's had too much on a plate and it'd be too ugly. All the stuff that's really making me grin is in that fish. I'm really... I can't wait. Just 30 seconds left. Finished! That's it! Experimental cook Reese is banking on pigeon with Madeira sauce on a broad bean bernoisette puree. Pudding is poached rhubarb with almond ice cream and coffee syrup. The meat is a bit dry, a little bit tough. But you, you've got all those flavours coming through. There's not ridiculous things like chocolate in there. Meaty, gamey, going slightly sweet, going zing with the sorrel. Really, really good. And really, really clever. I'm, I'm pretty much blown away. From main course to another very, very powerful, powerful dish. But it's not as rounded as your main course. But, Reese, processes like this, making stuff like this, thinking like this, and, hey, I want to grab Holly, put my arms around you, and kiss your fur and square the lips. <laughs> I love it. I think you will always divide opinion cooking like this. You want to go further? Yeah, so much. And you're going to change your life. You're not going to be an art student, you're not going to go and do art. No, I'm going to cook. You're doing art. Well, yeah. You've just taken it off the wall and stuck it on a plate. James is hoping his fillet of brill with longestine and clam sauce, followed by rhubarb crumble, will take him through to the quarter-final. About as close to a perfect fish dish that I've ever eaten, James. <laughs> it's beautifully flavoured, it's all well seasoned, it's all well cooked. I admire what you're doing, I think it's fantastic. If you're going to go any further in this competition, it's got to become a little bit more subtle and a little bit more refined. From main to pudding, it doesn't share the same sort of wow factor that you, that you made. Mm. Texture's good. You've got the balance of sweetness and soundness absolutely right. You get that in equal measure. In fact, it probably errs more on the sweetness, which is fine because you've got the sharpness of the ginger. I love it. 